talking to you from Champaign, Urbana, and you know what took what really got to me most and what I think is going to get to most people here is the fact that you set most of the film in Carbondale, but I was surprised to read that most of it wasn't filmed there. Uh, how did you um, how did you replicate the uh, that and where did you uh, film the uh, Carbondale scenes? Um, I I wanted to shoot the whole movie in Carbondale, mm -hmm. totally. Um, but I was it was cost prohibitive in order to get the the crew and all the gear and the people there. Um, it would have it would have cost a, a bit more than um, than Chicago and. But we, we shot some exteriors there. We went back for another trip after production and got some establishing shots. Um, but for the 99% of the movie is shot in Chicago. So you went to SIU, and obviously Carbondale must have meant a great deal to you. Mm -hmm. What was it that you wanted to capture about the place? Um, well, I think there's something really unique about a, a college town, and even though it it is modeled after Carbondale, takes place in Carbondale. I do, I have heard from many people and I was hoping that it would connect with um, other people who have um, spent time in small college towns, Champaign, Urbana, you know, being one of those towns. And there's something very, um, it, very nostalgic about the towns, the towns like that, even when you, go there for the first time you sort of feel the nostalgia is kind of just like um throughout but there is it does kind of feel like this um this kind of like middle ground where it's not quite real life yet mm -hmm. um but you're not also like still living you know with your parents um and and so there's this feeling of sort of like independence and and as someone um, going, you know, a 19-year-old going to college for the first time, I think you do feel like I own this place a little bit. Um, so much of what the movie is about is is Kate, um, Kate wishing that she could go back to that mm -hmm. that place. Um, you know, people tend to write what they know. Did you have an experience like that where you? went through a period where you felt a little beat up and just wanted to, you know, retreat to someplace safe. I know I've been there. Yeah, I, I have. I feel like that sprinkled throughout my journey. Um, times where I feel a little beat up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I wasn't in that moment um, at this time, but uh, when I wrote the film, but I was in a similar place where where um, where my movie had just my my last feature, Unexpected, had just premiered at Sundance, um, and it was about to be released. And and at that time, I had been invited to go on a, 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 almost like a, a tour of, of universities where I went to a few different schools and and showed the film and talked to students. Um, and it was um, a very unique experience. And as as someone who's living in a college town, I'm sure that you, you know, you have had this experience yourself of of, um, of seeing yourself through the lens of of people that are younger than you. Mm -hmm. And I think in that particular moment for me, going back to my old university and being able to see my achievements through the lens of people in their 20s that were in film school, and um, at the same time, seeing myself from the lens of my, of my past self and what I would have thought about where I was felt very good, felt very affirming. And, um, and I sort of imagined that depending on where you were in your life and what you had to go back to, that it might be very appealing to stay there. Uh, last thing, can you tell? Can you speak about working with uh, Gill Gillian Jacobs? She yeah. charms me. Every time I see her in a film, I always kind of perk up because I know she brings something special. Uh, yeah. She charms me every time I see her. Yeah, she charms me too, and I think she charms a lot of people, and she's also very charming in real life. She's very authentic. 
uh, as a person. And when I met with her um, at the, in the beginning about the script, she she felt so connected to the material, and she and I had such a connection. Um, and we, you know, became partners. Essentially, she's in every frame of the movie, and um, it was a pleasure working with her. Well, I'm glad to hear she's as authentic as, I, as yes. I hoped she would be. Yes. Chris Ray, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, good luck. I really love the film. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate it. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.